one of the step involve uh, molecular distillation and after we distill we can get this uh, very pure metal ester uh, we sell this actually uh, to the oleo chemical industry to make soap and detergent mm -hmm. but now of course we sell most of this to the biodiesel market as biodiesel okay is this the stuff that you put in your car because i understand your car runs on biodiesel yes we use 100 percent of this so uh, the car is running fine in fact it's running better than the, <laughs> the malaysian diesel so now you have tokomin which is the originator of uh, tokotrinol yes is that right the Tocotrinol is such a big deal for you, but when you actually originally started Carotech, did you intend to extract tocotrinol? We, we knew that the tocotrinol was in uh, CPO, but at the time, in say early 90s, there were very, very little information about tocotrinol. And when you check the market, there's nobody selling tocotrinol in the world. Mm -hmm. So tocotrinol, would, would, would you say out of all the products that you uh, extract, and distill here, would you say tocotrinol is your best seller to date? Uh, well, it's the most, what do you call it, most sexy of all the five products. Most sexy! <laughs> and now, of course, everyone is talking about the benefits of tocotrinol. Would you be able to say, hey, I did that? Oh, well, of course, we would like to say that we are the first one, and we are the first one to introduce tocotrinol to the world, and we are happy to see a lot of people now of as you say, are, are believing in the tocotrinol story and are getting the benefits of the tocotrinol uh, that they're taking. And we feel that this is just the beginning. There are a lot of research in the pipeline. If some of this turn out to be very positive, that would be even uh, greater benefits to the people who are taking tocotrinol now. And all started here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. So this is uh, the pump yep. in which you get your biodiesel from for your car. That's right, yes. What, what's your dream for Carotech? Your ultimate dream? <laughs> well, I think hopefully we, we can be a very reasonable sized player in the biofuel market in the world and also be the leading player in tocotrienol in, in the world. Mm -hmm. But you already are. Uh, well, it's still very small compared to say what it, it could, could be? What it could be, uh, I think we're still just the beginning, you know? It's very, very small, like baby. <laughs> so what do you envision that you could do with tocotrinol and, and with the biodiesel that you have now? I think the global demand for biodiesel is, is phenomenally huge. Uh. I mean, uh, you're talking about Europe, they're talking about 6 million tonnes a year, that kind of volume. So we, we are not looking at that, but hopefully we can be a part of the, the global biofuel market. But in terms of tocotrinol, the, the potential is huge for, say, in prevention of cancer, in prevention of uh, neuron diseases. Those are the areas that we think can really contribute uh, to uh, helping the health of the people in the world. So hopefully that's where we, we're going to achieve one day. break now but when we return David will be taking us for a little surprise trip something he takes the time to do when he's not hard at work curious stay tuned You'd probably never have guessed it, but the managing director of Hovid Berhad is quite the outdoorsy type, and he's going to take us to one of his favorite spots for the times when he needs to reflect. Okay, well, let's go. So this is one of those things that you do when you need to relax. Yes, this is a great. Uh, method of relaxation mm -hmm. because when you're climbing you try to achieve a goal mm -hmm. and you forget about everything else besides this what else do you do to relax well of course we, we do a lot of outdoor activities mm -hmm. one of the activities that I do now I used to do diving and all that but now uh, fishing is another great outdoor that, that I do oh good Wait, yeah. you, you actually go on fishing expeditions yeah yeah the furthest I've been to, I guess, is to Africa. 
Africa to yes. fish. Yes. My goodness. I guess, you know, when you look at all these things, I cannot do it on my own. And I think I have maybe a bunch of very good managers and executives and people behind the organization who are helping me to do all these things. Although the ideas in the beginning was for me, but I think a lot of the uh, work now is done by a lot of my managers and researchers. So I guess to be able to provide the environment for the growth of all these people, that they can achieve certain goal, maybe that is uh, to me the biggest achievement. Now I'm I'm really sorry to hear that your father passed away recently. When he was still alive, did he ever share with you how he felt about how far you brought the company today? I think he feel very proud that we are able to change the way we did. It's not an easy change from a very traditional, just a herbal tea company to a pharmaceutical. It's, and there were many risks. Uh, many times we really worry whether we could actually make it. You know, uh, we've gone to a few recessions, very uh, heart-stopping moments. And I guess he's very proud that we are able to come through and do what we are today. And to see the growth, you know, when, he, when I came back, it was 25 people. Today we have more than 1,000 people and all working together, you know, I think that, that I think is very satisfying to him. What would you say has been your main guiding philosophy throughout your life that you carry with you until today? We have treated people fairly and people have treated us very fairly and that's how we think we'll continue to grow that way. You know, we have over 40 countries, distributors that we've worked with for many years, they trusted us and we grew together and we hope we will continue to grow with these people and all those people that are with, with us today. David's had to rush off, which effectively means it's a wrap for Captains this week. But join me again for another edition of Captains next week, where we speak to another of Malaysia's industry captains. Till then, I'm Shani Lee. Bye-bye.